What's going on guys, Burrito here. Today we're back with another Discord video. Today we're going to be talking about Discord keybinds. So, um, I don't have any keybinds set up because truly I just, I don't need them. I don't really do anything that, um, stresses keybinds enough, really. But, um, I'll be showing you, like, how to set keybinds, what they're useful for, and every keybind that you can actually set. Then I'm going to show you some other keybinds that really aren't here, but they're just, like, good to know. So, we're going to be going, um, going over the first keybinds. So, you can, the way that you set it is, so let me delete all of these real quick. Um, you press add a keybind in keybinds app settings in your Discord profile settings. So when you press that add keybind, you can do an action. Obviously that's how a keybind works. You press a key on your keyboard and it will toggle an action on whatever application that you're using. So you can do push to talk normal, push to talk priority, meaning you can just toggle push to talk, um, normal talking. And if you have the permission to be a priority speaker, you can do push to talk priority, which means you're louder push to mute so um, if you're talking a lot and someone wants to talk over you or maybe you're in a meeting and your boss um, wants to talk so you can hold a keybind down to make sure that you're muted um, toggle mute just to mute yourself um, maybe you're watching YouTube and you don't want to uh, click out of YouTube to mute yourself you can just click a keyboard or keybind on your keyboard to mute yourself same thing with deafen and then there's toggle vad which uh, turns on push to talk and um, stuff like that. I'll be sending you guys um, a Reddit thread of VAD um, in the description to learn more about that. Um, toggle streamer mode, obviously if you're streaming or let's say you're live streaming for some people and you have some stuff that you don't want to get out there, um, you can just toggle streamer mode and it will just protect yourself um, without you even streaming. Then you can toggle overlay, overlay locks, uh, activate overlay chat, um, toggle screen share, um, navigate back and forward. So these are all of the actions that really come with it. And then you can record a keybind, pretty much anything. So I'm going through all of my keys on my keyboard right now. I have a 70 or yeah, like 80%, uh, 70%. That's like um, kind of like a... Um, 100% or a full keyboard, but it doesn't have the number pad on the side. And I am pressing, oh, not Windows key. Windows key doesn't work, so that's good. No, it suck. And up arrow, down arrow, look at that. Bow. All right, sorry, sorry guys. But pretty much every key works, except for like Windows key, probably escape doesn't work. Um, and then maybe some of the command keys like scroll locker, home. But truly, uh, that's really how keybinds work, and that's how they function. Um, some of the keybinds that I was talking about earlier that uh, are helpful to know, but you can't really set. Um, one of them is if you press Control and then R. Right when you press that, it's refreshing your Discord. So Control refresh, Control R. Um, you guys just saw that before. It sent you a little. When I press Control R, it told you another keybind right there. So. I'll rewind that on the screen right now. That's probably what you're watching right now. Um, and then there is uh, shift tilde, which let's say tilde is this key. I'll show you that one right there. Or heck, it's that little squiggly line or that key right there. So it's above tab and under escape all the way on the top left. And if you're inside of a game or something and you press shift tilde, um, it will bring up the overlay of Discord on your screen so you don't have to alt, press alt and tab or exit out of your game to access Discord. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, sm uh, smash the subscribe button. Try and hit 300 subscribers. That would be just astronomically insane. I really appreciate the support, guys. Um, this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge, and I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll see you later.